What up, up fam? fam? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb. And I'm Jazz. And before we get into very much today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time we post a video. Because that bell ain't ringing, then your phone won't be singing. So if you don't see the parentheses ding, 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 ding. <laughs> on the outside of that bell, that means you won't be notified when we drop cooking, cooking videos, videos like these. these. So fam, we're gonna boil five eggs for six minutes. And the reason we're gonna do that is so that we can give them that nice what do we want to call it? Well, they have done eggs. So there's six minute eggs to go inside of our burrito. Now we have some grits. Who doesn't like, who doesn't love some good grits with breakfast? We ain't even tell y'all what we make. We just go into what we finna do. We making a Quantran inspired breakfast burrito. So now the eggs are coming out. We're gonna put them in a nice ice bath and this will stop the cooking so that they remain six minute eggs. We got our chorizo. Now, Quan Tran, he used sausage, but I wasn't feeling the sausage link, so I opted for chorizo because chorizo is very good in breakfast. I'm gonna season this up in a little bit, but first, I got I got something else I need to do. Gotta take this bacon on up out the oven. So let me get this bacon and these hash browns out the oven so that they can stop cooking. Get them off that wire rack. Then I'm gonna go on back over to this chorizo. Now, the chorizo, although it does come seasoned, you know, you gotta season stuff to your liking. So, I went ahead and added the seasons that we felt that we were in the mood for to go inside of our breakfast burrito. Now we're gonna mix these in very well. I will tell you that that dark one, smoke paprika. You need it in your life. Now you know chorizo now, is done when you actually see it and it's not as sloppy and it's more together. Now that the chorizo is done, we're gonna transition on to something else. So fam, now we're gonna transition over to our grits. Now that they're done, the heat is off. We're gonna whip in our whipping cream and some butter so that we can get those boys nice and creamy. No one likes. Lumpy eggs. Grits. So, lumpy grits, like you said, lumpy eggs. <laughs> so now we're gonna whip in our cheese again. Temperature off because you don't have the temperature off, it's gonna affect the consistency. So turn it off, fam. Turn it off. One trans secret ingredients inside of his eggs: fish sauce. We decided to actually try it. With these, with these burritos to see how it actually tasted. Stay tuned for the mukbang to see if we liked it. We left one of the eggs out there to help you make that buzz. You know how that is. Now we're gonna soft scramble these. When they're almost done, turn them off because the pan still has heat in it. So you gotta turn them off. So that way they're not overdone. You want eggs that are slightly undone. Well, we like eggs that are slightly undone. Some yes. people like hard eggs. They do. Now, I am about to pan sear these vegetables. We have uh, some normal tomatoes and I diced up some jalapeno. Quantran didn't, but that was the which that I decided to and we left a few of the greases in there from the chorizo to suck up that good old chorizo juice. But what else you put in there? What's that? Oh, that's just the water from the um, vegetables. Time to fold. Let us know right now in the comments if you think it's going to be a good fold or a bad fold. And we hope you guys are having a great day. Oh, Jesus, here we go.
as corn twin would say, goofed it. Very badly. You goofed it. I did. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Ed. Yep. Just pull that buddy out of there. Now fam, as I'm sitting here watching this video and we're doing this voiceover, I realized that our left, I could have, I could have really made this work had I pulled it in a little bit more on the bottom. But at that point I was so frustrated I wasn't even looking at the burrito as a whole. I was more than likely looking at straight the center. So y'all see how much flap is out but it's still rolled? Man. I was going to try to get that boy together, fam. Like, no lie. Now we on the base burrito. Her little bus egg up in there. Then we got that cute hue sauce on the inside. Yeah, Jack. It, the recipe called for spicy mayo, but it really made absolutely no sense to make another spicy mayo when we already had one that we've already seasoned to our liking. So cutie q sauce it was now fam don't worry Baze was a little bit easier because it was smaller and whoosh, voila i know y'all probably sitting there like why y'all so worried about the egg y'all could just took the egg out but at the same time fam the egg man when you bite into that burrito and it's got the egg in there and it busts Man, that yolk going over the grease on the inside, just marvelous. This is my redemption clip here, fam. You tried to refund mm -hmm. yours. It was, was just too heavy. big. It was not heavy. But y'all know, tuck and roll. Oh, it's cute. And voila. Y'all know I was going to try to take it, fam. They did that sick time for redemption. Thanks, well fam as you guys can see we have the mukbang coming up look at all that delicious goodness man it wound up being a good thing that one of the eggs bust because as you can see i cut straight through it oh, we got that crispy bacon grapes it is breakfast fam so do not forget come on back to check out the mukbang because you know what's on the way but until we get to the mukbang, we do have a little treat for you guys. So enjoy and we love you guys. <laughs>